Hi, I'm Dr. Chelsea Stiles. I'm a pathology resident at Michigan Medicine, and I'm here on main campus to talk to some people about what they know about pathology. Today's topic on pathology on the street is objects in pathology. Okay, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Yangxi. And Dan. Dan, welcome Dan. Lloyd Tally. Uh, my name is Rena Bash. I'm Tyler. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get started on the objects here. So what do you think this is? I mean, it looks like a great back scratcher. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Shovel thing? You can like stick it to the ground. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it looks like it's for putting the same amount of some substance into a number of like test tubes or something like that. I don't know whether this is injecting something or whether it's pulling something in, so I imagine, let's see if I can feel anything coming out. Looks like uh, it injects eight even rows of something. That's, a, that's very good. So this is a multi-channel pipette. So we actually use it to, we can um, determine how much we disperse into uh, different, different um, like test tubes yeah. or wells. Yeah, it looks like a timer. Okay. Um, escape. <laughs> I don't know, but it's telling me I need to leave. I need to get out now. I don't know. <laughs> you can hit the buttons and everything. Something. I don't know. A good old fashioned pager? It is, <laughs> it is. I'm gonna say it's a beeper. It is a beeper. That looks like a throwback. <laughs> I know what that is. It is a pager. It is a it's pager. A pager. <laughs> Great job, yes. And this is how they call you, I'm assuming. It That's is. Going on. So we actually still use pagers yeah. um, for the entire health system. Yeah. I'll show you what yeah. these are here. And they look like razors. I think it can store something, but there's so many holes in it. I have no clue. Okay. I have zero well, clue. I'm, it looks I'm like a filter of some sort. Okay. But I have no clue what this is. I've never seen this in my life. Like something you could wash something in. Okay. Right? Like you could put a little sample in there and then like swish it around in, I don't know, some sort of solution to like clean it off. I'm guessing you put tissue in this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, you're right. What? I couldn't stop you. Oh, right. This is not fair. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we do. We put tissues in these. These are called um, tissue cassettes. Right. So what we actually do is when we dissect the specimen, we take representative samples about the size of a nickel. And that's what goes in here. And then we can close these and process the tissue. You can put samples on it and put it under a microscope. Uh, slides for a microscope? Yeah, that's exactly what these are. I I okay, these, I, are. these are... Slides. Yes. Under yeah, I really, really get that angle. I like it. Do you like microscopy or something where you would. See she what knows the word at? microscopy. That's next yeah, level. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> well, I had these when I was a kid. Okay. So you look under, under a microscope. So you put whatever your desire to look at on the microscope on there and then you put it under the microscope so you're not touching it with your hand. Exactly. Okay, so good. I'm not the only one yeah, who had, had a microscope when I was, when I was younger. Yeah, okay. Like the one with the big screen. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I was like a super nerd when yeah, I was a kid, so it makes I grew up to actually do this. <laughs> you put bacteria in it? Yeah. This is a, is these uh, petri dishes? They are. Okay. I've heard them called petri dishes, but yeah. this is probably something more complicated than that. Um, I feel like when there are like germs or bacteria or something like that, you put it in here, one, so it doesn't get contaminated by other things, but also so that it's easier for you to manage because you can't like just touch germs and stuff like that. Okay, why do you think they're right uh, well, I seem to be able to see different substances or different microbes. Okay, yeah, exactly. So these are petri dishes, um, which we call them agar plates just because they're made of agarose gel. Um, they're different colors because they have different substances in them. Um, so different uh, types of bugs grow on different media, which is yeah. basically the food. Uh, so some will grow bacteria, some will grow fungus, and sometimes we put stuff in there to kind of stop bacteria from growing so that we, we can actually isolate what we're trying to isolate. Okay. Yeah, and that way we can figure out what's actually harming the patient and what's there, and then target that treatment. All right, so that's, that's the end of our uh, pathology on the street. 
All right, thank you. So Objects, much. so thank you so much for, for, for doing this. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> thank oh, you so much. Yeah, thank you. I've learned so much about what pathologists do. Yes. Too, especially I, in the clinical realm. Yes. Um, only from right? the research. Exactly. Yeah. So that's that's great. We're we're like the hidden people in the back, yeah. but we come out every once in a while to talk to random people on the Very street. Nice. So well, <laughs> you're not like thank a regular you so scientist. So, okay. thank you. Good, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah, awesome. We're yeah, we're All good. Right. Thank you.